Hello everyone, so this is a quick video to show you the new update of a Massive World for Unreal 5.5. 5. 5. So first of all, new system that I've made is inside the Massive Shared. You now have the um, Massive Tag Manager. So it's mostly a quick way to add some tag on the tool that is relevant to Massive World. So to give you an example, I have this cube and then I can just delete the tag like this. And if I want, I can add, let's say, no biomes that will tell the biome to not spawn inside that cube. And if I do this, move the cube a bit, Massive World can now recognize the cube without problem. Also, something new with the uh, new update is that the biome are now using uh, the PCG par partition by default and they're a lot faster now. So just to show you how fast it is, I can now go into the scriptable tool, create a new biome, just drawing one like this. And here we go, it's already spawned. Something new also with um, uh, 1.4 1. for Unreal 5.5 you now have a priority system. So you can now have biome inside biome without problem. So I can just draw one right here. You can see the number three. So the lower is the number, the higher it will be in priority. So for now, we don't see a lot of change because they use the exact same visual. But if I change the visual to use, let's say the purple tree you can see there you now have a biome inside another biome something else with the update is that now the lakes and river will be able to have their own biome that you can just add here on the uh, on the lake directly or the, the river so if i can change it again and there's some smooth uh, transition between the river and the biomes now. So this is part of the new change that I've made for the last update. Also, uh, I've made a new PoE system. So basically what it is, it's a way to create some small scene and then have PCG to spawn them everywhere using the word partition. So this is one example. It's a small scene that you create separately and then you can use it to spawn it everywhere and sometimes there's some bug with 5.5 that it doesn't always detect so if you if you see that you know the tree are spawning inside somewhere that it shouldn't spawn you can just click on the tree and there's a new button here to force refresh and now everything is prop is properly spawned those uh, small assembly like this can also be spawned inside a biome now so if I remove this one, this biome to see it properly and then increase the chance that this one spawn. It's in the setting right here. I would increase the density and hope to find one nearby. Oh, there's one here. So you see, this is a small assembly that I've made and was spawned inside the biome directly. So it's exactly this. Let's spawn through the biome and you can do it through the lakes and river too. So those are places of interest. It's really cool because you can do, for example, uh, have a house with a small fence around it and then some trees and do a small setup by yourself and then Massive world will spawn it uh, anywhere in the world where you, you, you want it to spawn. And to create a new one, I'll show you quickly. I've made an example for you inside the demo. And then you have level assembly. And I've made this scene. You can do it into any scene, but I've just made this one to show you how it works. So this is the scene where I, I've created that assembly. For now, the assembly is built here, so I will just break it. I go to level here, break, and break the instance. 
And now you have access to everything that is inside this assembly. So you can see the rock one by one and so on. And the way it will be working, it's using tag. So it go back to the new tag system that I've created here. So if I type tag, you can see that this rock is made to project the landscape and rotate. I can remove them. If I want maybe one rock out of two to spawn, I can do chance 50% and then rotate, project to landscape. And then PCG later, when it will spawn this assembly, it will always project to the landscape, rotate according to the landscape, and then have a 50% chance to spawn every rock. As for the tree, I don't want it to be in line. So I have a rotate Z only. So you don't have to memorize those tags. You can just use this little system here and it will add them automatically. And you can also select a bunch of them and add the tag directly. So it's very simple. Once you're satisfied with your setup, you can select everything like this, right click, and then go into level, create a level instance. I usually use the center min Z, so it will create um, the point of origin inside the, the middle of everything and at the bottom. So I'm satisfied with this result. And then I will just click on the assembly that I've made already, demo assembly level. I save, yes override. And one last step that you need to do is to go on this level. You don't need to go inside, but you can just right click and then you need to do asset action, create a PCG asset from level. So this is basically the object that PCG needs to see to be able to spawn them in the world. So it's done already. It was the assembly one. So I will just override this one and you need to do this step every time you do some change inside your level. So I will save and here we go. It's updated for that, that new scene. If I want to spawn it with my biome, if you don't want to break it every time, there's also this scene here that you can go inside, go into unlit and then modify everything again. And finally, to add those um, um, those level insta instance inside the uh, the data, you just need to do to go inside your data asset, and then let's say go to the uh, vegetation that I've been using earlier, and they can be added here with the chance to spawn and all the data that you want. You can have as many as you want. So I hope you like it. If you have any question, feel free to ask uh, on Discord or send me uh, uh, a message and uh, I'll be happy to, to answer them. Thank you and have a great day.